Welcome SAP fans. I want to welcome you to an SAP Insight Tip recording and uh, we're going to talk today about the keep button and that button is found in the data search list. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you where to find that button and how to use that button. So I hope you enjoy this tip session and uh, the last slide I'll show you how to get hold of us or share some additional tips with us for future sessions. All right, so let's get started. All right, first, where do you find this button? This button can be found uh, basically on any transaction where you're going to look up any data. So a transaction that has fields in it where you need to look up data for a field, and that field would have a match code button beside it. So when you click in the field, you'd see that match code button. So we're going to look at the MM60 transaction, uh, the material list, and also at the ME22N change purchase order transaction, because that one shows the great functionality of this keep button. All right. First, we've got to get to a transaction, and the MM60, we'll start with that one first, and show off that button, show where you can find it. So I'm going to go up here to the command field, click on my list button, and grab my MM60 transaction, which I've already used, so it's populated in my command field. Press the enter key on the keyboard, and it's going to take me to the materials list uh, transaction. So you see I've got a criteria screen and that criteria screen um, we're going to use the material field. So my cursor is already clicked into the material field and you'll notice the match code button beside the field to the right of the field. So I'll click on that match code button and that's going to get me to my um, search criteria screen. So what's happened here is SAP is saying to me, hey, there's a lot of material information out there in the database, so you need to tell me a little bit more about the material that you're looking for. So I could leave this material description blank and click on the start search button and it's going to come back with values. Now my maximum number of hits is set to 500 so it'll just bring back 500. I'll change that number to 100 and go ahead and leave the material description blank. I'm going to click on the start search button and it's going to come back with a listing of data. Now if you go all the way to the top of this screen or this pop-up window you're going to see a toolbar and the far right button is the button that we're looking for and that's called the keep button. Now what this button does is it keeps this result list pinned to the screen so that's why it's got that push pin look. Um, and what that does for you is it says, okay, once you've selected data that's going to be populated into your transaction or your originating transaction, then um, don't get rid of this screen. So I'm going to show it to you both ways. So right now we have the push pin. It's not pushed in and that's how it comes by default. Now I'm going to move uh, the SAP screen over just a little bit so you can see it. And then I'll move it back so you can see the information on the slide. So notice the material field in my transaction has nothing in it. I'm going to go over here to my uh, search list and my result search result list and I'm going to select one of the values in it. I can select it by either double clicking on it or click on it one time and then click on the copy button. So I'm going to just double click on it. So I'll pick this A portable one ton crane. I double click on it and it brings the value over into my material field and my result list goes away. So if I needed to select another value, I'm going to have to go back into my match code button and I'm going to have to pull back up that list and I'm going to have to select another value in order to get that other value in this, uh, in this field. So what we can do with this keep button is we can keep that search list so that we can select multiple values. So I'll go back into the match code button. I'm going to click on the start search button to get my list, my uh, criteria values. And now I'm going to push this push button, this keep button. And notice the push button is pushed in. So that tells you that this list is um, pinned to the screen, if you will. So now I'm going to change my value. So I'm going to change it to this uh, 220, 235 V60 watt frosted E27 MIG box. Wow, that's a mouthful. Double click on it. And you see that it changes the value in my material field. Now, even if I go back to the material list, it still leaves my list pinned up to the screen. So I'll go back over here, and now I'm going to pick this five-speed gears. Notice I double click on it, it changes the value in my material list. All right, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to close out this uh, list. Now I could 
unpin this to the screen, but it kind of doesn't matter right now because I'm just going to close it out. And so by default, when I come back in, it's going to not have that pin to the screen. And I'm going to scoot my SAP transaction over so we can look at the slide because one of the things I want to tell you about before I go to the PO transaction is this be careful note at the bottom. So if this push pin is not pulled out before you exit the transaction, the screen um, the screen being the result list that we had up, in, in this case the result list of materials, it can be orphaned and it can cause an error or a window that cannot be closed. So that resulting material list would stay basically pinned to your screen. Now you go off and do other things, but you just can't get rid of that window because uh, it's become orphaned. So just be sure when you have something pushed, uh, push pinned uh, to the screen that when, if you're going to exit out of the transaction, you, that you either close out that um, that result list like I did, or if you don't cl close it out, just be sure you put pull out the push pin, so just be careful about that. All right, now I'm back over in SAP. I'm going to go back up to the main menu, and this time I'm going to go into the change PO transaction, which is ME22N, and that's in my command field drop-down because I've used it before. I'll press the enter key on the keyboard, and now I'm in the standard PO screen, and I'm going to go to this item overview section of the PO. So if you've never gone into the PO or you're not familiar with the PO, I wouldn't get caught up on this big busy screen. What we really want to look at here is that we've got a material field in this transaction. So essentially the PO has a bunch of line items that you can have in it and each line item can have a different material. So if we were in here and we were wanting to populate a bunch of different materials into this PO but we needed to look up those materials, we could use this push, push pen to really help us out. So Again, I'm going to scoot my SAP transaction over, my transaction window, click on the match code. Now when I get the match code up, again, I'm going to have to go and click the start search button to bring my values up. Now I've got my resulting values list. I'm going to take that list and I'm going to move it over to the right so that you can see what's happening here in the material list in the transaction. So over in the transaction, the PO transaction, I'm going to click on my first available material and then I'm going to go into the um, the result list and I'm going to double click on this first 220-235V. Now notice again I didn't push my push bin in so my value goes away. Very frustrating if I need to populate multiple values into multiple line items. So I'm going to go back into the next line item, click on the match code button, get my result list back up. I'm going to move it over so I can see what's happening on my SAP screen. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to push pin this list to the screen and now I'm going to start selecting values. So now I'm going to select a motor oil case and then I'm going to go back over to my transaction, get the next line item and I think I'll pick this five speed gear, go to the next value, a portable one ton crane and now I'm finished so I'll go ahead and pull out my push pin and close out my box and my values are populated. So that's our lovely push pin button. I think it's a great addition to your toolkit with SAP. If you've never used it before, then just give this button a try. It can uh, hopefully bring you some value. So just want to close out by saying if you have a great tip to share, we would love to hear, you, hear from you and share it. You can either email it to info at sapinsight.com. Uh, you can put SAP Insight tip in the subject. That will help us out. Or if you want to get involved in any discussions or post this to a discussion board where other people can show you that they like your tip, then join us on our LinkedIn group. So just go into LinkedIn, look at the groups, enter SAP Insight into the group, and just tell us that you want to join, and we'll get you joined up. Hope you all have a great day. Hope you enjoyed this tip. Take care.